It is now a year since we started an Adufu program in English on OBN Oromo Broadcasting Network. And Adufu is a typical Oromo term to mean a warm welcome with wide arms. It doesn't mean simply welcome. My guest today is Professor Tasamata, a historian from Adisawa University. He's going to tell us about himself and about the history of Ethiopia and the progress now happening in the country. Stay tuned. I'm Anwar Khalil, your host. Professor Anaruf. Yeah, uh, I am very happy that uh, you, you are having me today. Professor Tasamata, uh, I know when I was at the uh, university, also I know him, and uh, many of his books uh, talk also about uh, Professor Tasamata. But who is Professor Tasamata? Where, uh, no, where were you born? Yeah, thank you very much. This is a good question to uh, talk about myself. Uh, in most cases, I don't want to talk about myself because uh, it is the work of an individual that talks about a man. Actually, it's that work that brought you here today. Yeah, thank you very much. And, uh, you know, I was born in a small village in Nakamte, uh, suburb which is called Jato village. Uh, Jato is the name of a river and uh, it has really become also the a name of a Kabale now. Uh, I was born in 1948 European calendar and I uh, joined school after seven years being born. Uh, at, at seven, uh, my father took me to a mission school. Where, there in Nakamte? There in Nakamte, Makani Yesus School, uh, which uh, really teaches uh, the, the subjects, uh, you know, Amharic, English, geography, history, and many other subjects from, you know, after finishing grade, grade one and two, uh, at least after finishing grade two, in grade three, all subjects were given in English. And uh, I was really privileged, and my father was a self-sufficient farmer to pay at least uh, nine Ethiopian bir at that time, the Ethiopian number. dollar, yes. <laughs> nine bir per year, because there, are, there were three semesters. And three bir was paid per semester. And he was uh, able to pay that because uh, farmers rarely have cash. Uh, but he, uh, you know, I really appreciate uh, what he had done for me because it was one of the best schools in the area. And from grade one to grade six, I used to stand first. After finishing grade six, I went to uh, Haile Selassie first uh, secondary school, junior and secondary school, where I uh, completed my seventh and eighth grade there, passed the uh, ministry's examination. And then from there, I joined uh, actually uh, the uh, high school, grade nine and grade 10, with uh, very good grades. And after grade 10, uh, at that time, there were you know, vocational training schools, like the uh, teacher training and uh, community development training. And I wanted to be a teacher and joined Teacher Training Institute. Where? In Harar. All right. Yes, after finishing grade 10. Grade 11 and grade 12, I completed it at TTI Harar as uh, uh, a teacher. I was uh, uh, awarded a certificate that I was able to teach from grade one to grade eight, every subject. 
every in those days. Subject. Every subject, <laughs> literally every subject, because you know uh, there there were you know trainers, teacher trainers. They are very very strict, and uh, they were teaching gymnastics, uh, parading, and all that. All those which should be taught at elementary school uh, had to be commanded by any teacher who graduates from Harad Teacher Training Institute. That certificate uh, is not, uh, was not only a paper, was also with practice. That with is practice, it, uh, yes. There was a model school. We had to teach those in those two years as we take secondary school uh, uh, subjects, we also teach practically. And uh, I was really uh, awarded a, a book because I got great distinction in teaching in that model school. So finally, uh, I graduated uh, uh, from uh, uh, the teacher training in 1958, end of 58 as Ethiopian calendar. <laughs> in 1959, I joined uh, uh, teaching profession, uh, I taught uh, in uh, elementary school at Jarte Jardaga. Oh, it's a very remote area. In Western Oromia. In Western Oromia, Northwestern Walaga. Sure. In fact, rather Northeastern Walaga, not Western, in Horogudu. Horogudu Walaga. Yes. And uh, I, I used to teach grade one through grade Four, and I uh, in grade one alone. I remember I had one hundred students, and that at the time used to tell me how much the uh, uh, farmers were eager to send their students, their children to school, and uh, uh, definitely out of those one hundred students in grade one. I was able to, to, to really uh, promote 80 to 90 students to grade two. And that gave me a very, uh, you know, very great encouragement that I continue teaching. Uh, and I used to also teach grade six, grade four, grade five, uh, social studies, uh, Amharic, and English in grade three. Have you ever come across any of your students uh, that you taught by then now? Yes, I, m many of them are, 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 are uh, you know, uh, are in, in various towns. Uh, now, for example, there is, a, there is someone whom I taught after uh, getting transferred to Harato uh, School, another elementary school. I taught this fellow in grade three. And he, he, he still remembers me and he writes me, uh, you know, emails. And his name is Shua, is Yisma Shoa Yilma, who is now a, a professor in, um, in uh, uh, Russia, well, Moscow. So this one? And I'm, uh, you know, I taught for three years after graduation from grade 12. After that, I joined. Uh, Addis Ababa University in 1962, Ethiopian calendar. This was a time when there was a great turmoil around the university because of the outrageous system of uh, emperorship at the time. Uh, and uh, there was the question very ringing and and great, great question that was bringing together almost all students from all walks of life, and that was the slogan of land to the tiller. And the generation that shook Emperor Haile Selassie. Exactly, that was a generation that shook Emperor Haile Selassie. Uh, definitely, I, I joined the university at a very, very hot time of demonstrations. Uh, I was there when Tlaung Gizau 
was elected as, uh, as uh, uh, the president of the student union in Addis Ababa. And Ipsa Gutama was there. And Ipsa Gutama was there. There were also other students from Walaga uh, and uh, other Oromia areas. For instance, uh, I remember uh, Tabor Wami, for instance, he was uh, the my, one who wrote, my senior, who wrote a book. Yeah, oh. Tabor Wami and Nagaso Gidada was my senior in history. And um, at that time, uh, I didn't know the, the, the campus, you know, uh, very well. So when the, the police uh, came and, uh, and started shooting, uh, particularly the bodyguard, uh, I could not really know my way out. But nevertheless, uh, I was saved, you know, uh, among those who, who were lucky to be saved, and, and continued my studies intermittently going back and forth into the university system, uh, demonstrating, boycotting classes, and uh, uh, definitely there were uh, very good colleagues who are still my intimate friends like uh, uh, Dr. Fakadu Kanno, who is now teaching at uh, Makani Yesu Seminary. Uh, we were together and some of the, uh, the colleagues with me have now passed away, like uh, Tafasa, you know, Tafasa Galata and, um, and Balai Tasamma. Uh, these, are, these were really my friends who were, you know, with whom I used to go to demonstrate and throw our uh, left arm in the air yeah, uh, calling land to the tiller. Yes, it was a leftist, you know, leftist. <laughs> Uh, if you are not leftist, you are not a revolutionary. And as a sign of revolutionary, you have to grow beards. Yeah, right. uh, you have to also smoke. Uh, you should not shave your hair. And Che Guevara was your middle model, probably. Uh, exactly. Che Guevara, uh, you know, uh, and, and some others, you know, like uh, Marxist, Leninist theory, which was, uh, re you know, which was read hidden from uh, the, the instructors and the administrators very much. But you know, my university life uh, was definitely, uh, I was lucky enough to, you know, to have gone for uh, Ethiopian university service after uh, uh, three years of education. When I was uh, uh, promoted to uh, a fourth year, I had to serve one year. And then you came back? So I served in Wallaga, okay. in a company, where I started doing my research for my BA thesis okay. at the time. Entitled Administration of Lake Anna between 1850 to 1923. I said BA degree, yeah. thesis in history 976. Exactly. So, uh, okay. that, was, that was the time when I started, uh, you know, uh, opening my mind for research. And uh, uh, it has contributed to the change of attitude when you really are you know, take the responsibility to work on, you know, on by yourself, to write and read, uh, bury your head in the books. That was very, very important, which I think uh, today's generation should, have, should emulate, you know. Reading is very important. Unless you read, you cannot know. Uh, uh,